Hey guys, I got my John Deere riding lawnmower up on the hoist today. I'm going to show you today how to adjust the blade belt, the mowing deck belt on this thing today. I know for a fact there's a lot of you guys out there that don't even know that this exists on these mowers because I've worked with several small engine mechanics in my life that didn't even know you could do this either. So here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon again. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, adjusting a belt on a riding lawnmower, uh, the mower belt, the blade belt, whatever you want to call it, on one of these things. Simple, easy to do. All you need is a 10 millimeter wrench. On this particular model, a John Deere LA125, a 10 millimeter wrench works way better than your uh, 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet. Don't worry about that. You also need a beer. Good luck even getting through half a can of beer before you get this job done. It's that simple. This applies to your riding lawnmowers. It includes Husqvarna's, Craftsman's, John Deere's that have that lever up by the steering wheel, or as some people pronounce it, lever. So to do this job, you do not take the mowing deck off of the unit. You just lower it down all the way to the ground as low as that uh, setting can let you go. And at no point are you going to start this lawnmower. You don't start it at all. Safety first, guys. Why are we even doing this? How do you even know if your belt needs adjusted or not? There's a long cable that goes from your blade engagement by your steering wheel all the way down to your mowing deck. That cable stretches over time. And also, uh, your belt is going to wear. It'll wear in further into those V pulleys down there and it will get slacker for those two different reasons right there. So how to test this straight from the owner's manual, okay? to see if you even need to adjust your belt on this. The owner's manuals on these things say, this is how you start your blades. You rev your engine up to wide open throttle, push that throttle all the way up to as high as it can go. And then you take that, that engagement lever and you push it up fast. As fast as you can, just to hammer that thing forward and the blades should start almost instantaneously. Like we're talking a half a second, you're gonna hear those blades going at full speed. Sometimes after a while, your, your cable stretches, your belt wears in, everything under there is slack. And when you push that lever forward, you kind of hear this, you hear the blades kind of start and then they start whirring up and, and engaging and after two or three seconds, then you hear your blades start to go at full RPM. That's because your belt is slipping. It's not working properly anymore. Then you know that you have to adjust the belt on this thing. So you have your deck dropped all the way down to the ground. You uh, don't have your engine running, of course. You put your lever, your engagement by the steering wheel there, you pull it all the way back towards you so that as if your blades are disengaged, you're not using the blades. Now we look down there underneath the deck. There's a couple things that we need to inspect um, down here before we get started on the adjustment. First of all, look at your belt. Just look at that thing and make sure that there's no cracks in it. Make sure there's no big chunks missing out of it, that kind of thing. If you do see some cracks and some chunks out of your belt down there, well, maybe you do need to replace your belt at this time. I'm gonna have a video up really shortly here on how to replace the belt on this thing. You're gonna see a little uh, notification up here in, in the, your information button when that comes up, when I get that video done, it's coming soon. The other thing that you need to inspect under there is uh, the swing arm. You gotta make sure that's free. Right where that spring attaches, there's this, this arm right here. Grab that thing 
make sure that moves back and forth freely. If it doesn't move back and forth freely like that, uh, you can see where it pivots right here. Spray that with some spray lube. Work it back and forth with your, with your hand until that's free. Once you know that your belt is in good shape and that swing arm is nice and free in there, then what we want to do is engage that lever. Grab that lever and push it all the way forward as if your blades are engaged. Now, look back underneath the deck right here and look at that spring right there. Feel that spring. Does that feel like it's stretched very far to you? Then feel the belt. And the belt is, it's probably, everything's still going to probably feel quite slack under there for you. That's why we're going to need to adjust this. Now, right where the cable comes down and attaches to your, to your mower deck, there's a little bracket right there. That is your uh, cable adjustment right there. Take your engagement lever and disengage the blades now. Pull that back towards you so everything under there is as slack as possible. Now you take your 10 millimeter wrench, you loosen those bolts off, and you pull that bracket away from the spring, pretty much towards you. Pull it back all the way and tighten those bolts back up. Now you go and engage those, that lever again so everything's tight under there again. Go back under the deck and check it again. That spring is going to be stretched further now and your belt is going to be a lot tighter now. I guarantee it is. Now you gotta go try it again. Fire it up and try that and see if your blades engage almost instantly when you engage them properly. If it doesn't, that means that the belt has worn so much that that uh, adjustment can't compensate for the slack in there anymore. Now it's gonna be time for you to uh, replace the belt. Like I say, I'm gonna have that video up soon for you. And that's all there is to that. I think that probably helped a lot of you guys out there. Um, I hope I saved you guys some money so you didn't have to go replace your belt when you can just adjust it again and get many, many more months out of it. I hope you liked it, guys. Give me that thumbs up button if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, what can I say? Oh, see, I told you, I didn't even get through one sip of beer doing that job. That's how fast that is. Cheers, guys. Work safe. Steve out.